Hi, my name is Alice Yu, and this is my story. I've been on the internet for the past 12 years, though you may never have even heard of me. I started the art and culture site, My Modern Met, back in 2007. I was editor-in-chief and founder there for seven years, and it's during that time that we made artists' work go viral. We grew our audience from zero to three million visitors a month, but mostly people like our sites bigger than ours, like the Huffington Post and Yahoo and Gizmodo would come to us for content. They would see our posts and then spread our content onto their sites, um, creating a viral effect on the web. And then uh, TV shows like the Today Show would even pick up those stories. We would receive these emails from these artists thanking us for giving them their exposure and for changing their lives. After about seven years, um, there was a moment that happened where we got a book deal from Chronicle um, and the book's out even now, it's called For Love and it's you can find it on Amazon. And we also got opportunities for speaking engagements for Dwell on Design and Alt Summit. And we were working with big brands like Intel and Cadillac and Honda and it was all too much for me and I went manic. For those of you who are not familiar with that term, it's part of being bipolar. Now my mother was bipolar. She actually killed herself when I was 20 years old. She hung herself in her closet and my grandmother and I found her and she was only 48. Um, how we found out was that at the middle of the night, my husband and I were in downtown Los Angeles and I crossed a busy intersection twice without looking. I didn't look around, I just had my eyes gazed forward and I just thought God will protect me and I crossed that, those streets twice. My husband panicked, he called my sister and they both decided to give me a heavy dose of Xanax. Then they called a doctor friend who suggested that they take me to a research hospital um, and that's how I ended up at the UCLA psych hospital. I don't remember much, all I remember is crossing those streets and then waking up to nothing. Um, it was an all white room, I was by myself and I had no possessions and all that was next to me was a Ziploc bag of quarters for the payphone and letters, handwritten letters from my sisters and my husband saying that they were sorry that they had to leave me there all alone and that I was now locked up. A whole range of emotions hit me. I was, you know, angry, I was sad, I was grief stricken, I was destroyed. Um, I was like, how the hell did I end up here? And how could they have taken me away from my seven, seven month old son and my two year old son? So it took them six weeks for them to find the right mix of medication for me to come down from my mania. So, so uh, they released me at that time and um, I had to reassess my life. Now, my partner and I at My Modern Met had fought a lot. And you know, there, we had different visions of how the site would run or what it would be about. And he was more financially motivated than I was. So I decided I had to cut ties. I left that company um, and I decided I needed to start something different. So I tried to become a lifestyle blogger and then a photographer, but neither of those things worked out. I basically failed. And that was because I didn't have confidence in myself in any of my skills and and they, they just weren't good fits for me and I couldn't sell myself. So I decided um, I needed to find something new. It was at that time that I was scrolling through Instagram and I found the beautiful art of hand lettering. And hand lettering was just, um, just so beautiful to me. And then the Women's March happened. So I said, okay, let's put these two worlds together and create something magical. Uh, that's how Skylar U was born. So Skylar U is a company that inspires and empowers girls and women to be bold. And we sell our graphic tees and art prints to the modern feminist. There was still a higher calling for me though, and I knew in my heart I needed to do something about mental illness. So I was scrolling through the internet one day when um, an opportunity came up saying that Seth Godin was going to hold another um, another session of Alt MBA. 
I applied for it and I got in and um, within there I wanted to be held accountable for starting a podcast about thriving people who are still leading who are leading a su successful life despite having a mental illness um, then I was when I put it out there I got a message from one of the teachers the counsel counselors the teachers there and his name was Bob Benoit and he said Alice what can you do today <laughs> to get this shit done and I said okay what can I do and I said I can sign up for the podcasting fellowship so I did and um, within there the first person that really caught my eye was a woman named Amy Perkins and she had this really incredible story about how she was she got gifted a uh, it was a necklace that had a key on it that said believe and how that kind of changed her whole life so I thought I'm gonna need one of those keys. Hey, you know everyone can use a cool key. So I went on the Giving Keys website and I found one that said Fearless. Um, and then I went back to that forum and I wrote to Amy and I said I just bought the Fearless one because I have a company that says Fearless Girl and Fearless Woman on their shirts. So she writes me back and says, Oh my God, are you from Skylar U? Because I actually own your shirts and I gift them to people. And she showed me a picture of her wearing Fearless Girl our minds were blown it was like poosh and we were like this was god's plan and this is synchronicity and we need to work together and i said to her um, will you be my coach and she didn't even hesitate and she said yes and so we jumped on a phone call right then and there and i think it was five o'clock in the morning on a sunday morning and we just started talking and i told her my story and i said i've been afraid I've been afraid to come out into the light for 12 years because I, uh, because of many things, um, because of childhood trauma, because um, one time somebody had said to me that you are not good enough for your husband and because maybe the things that were said to me by my, my mother. So. All of these things led me to really have, you know, low self-esteem. And so, you know, the irony is, is that I sell these t-shirts and these messages to be bold and to be fearless, yet I wasn't living that life. And that was a huge conflict for me. You know, how could I, how could I be doing that? How could I be relaying this message to these girls and women and not, not living that life for myself? So... I talked to Amy about this and she says, Alice, it's time to share your story. You know, it's time to step out into the light. And she said, I believe in you. And this is the first time besides my husband that someone said, you know, I believe in you. So I, so she suggested to get it, to get this book. And so I'm crying because I'm a very emotional person. But then, you know, I'm just letting you know that people say that emotional you know, people who cry a lot are lucky because they feel deeply. So just remember that. Okay, so I got this book called Wishes Fulfilled by Dr. Wayne Dyer. And I just started underlining the shit out of this because it was like, it was like just speaking to my heart. And it said, you know, you are a spark of God. And with God, all things are possible. So that hit home for me. And I saw it said to myself, you know, all my dreams are everything that I want in this world, all the lives that I want to change, um, it's possible through God. And, you know, with my own hard work and with God's love and his support, you know, one person can change this world. And, you know, I can do this. And I can be unafraid and I can step out out of the shadows and into the light finally and share my story and inspire others to be bold. And so that's where I'm at. And I just wanted to end by saying, I am not hiding anymore. So thank you.